Hello, my name is Jose. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a dashboard if you're running one of these wheels that has an LCD screen or something like a digital display unit. We're going to be working inside of SimHub for the setup. So one of the very first things you might see is SimHub is going to ask you to configure telemetry. So go ahead and click that. It's a very quick process and that's what's going to get the wheel iRacing uh, or the, any of the other games to communicate with SimHub. So once you're done with that, go over to the devices tab and we're going to then navigate down to add new device. A lot of the new wheels and a lot of the digital display units that are on the market right now have already been uploaded into SimHub. So let's say you're running this Rexing Myaris. Uh, we're going to go here on the left hand side and we're going to look for Rexing. And we see here that there's two. So I know that this one is the Rexing Myaris 2. This here is the uh, version before this one, which also supports SimHub. There's a whole bunch of other brands out here. So if we look at all the other brands, you can see um, Asher, we can see uh, the cube control stuff. I know that all the GSI stuff is in here as well. So whatever you're running, the process is going to be pretty much the same because most of these things are all supported by SimHub. So again, add new device, search for your device, and then just click OK. Once you're done with that, then it's going to take you to that device's um, screen configuration, uh, user interface. You might notice that different wheels are going to have uh, this configuration page uh, look different. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with SimHub. So depending on the wheel, I've seen a whole different interface that basically lets you um, interact with the wheel in different ways and lets you set up different things in different ways. So um, again, SimHub is very, very powerful, powerful for that. So looking at the configuration screen, let's go from the top. We've got several tabs here, LCD, LEDs, and controls. Then here on the top right hand corner, you've got a status where we can see that it's connected. If for whatever reason it's not connecting, then we can move down here to hardware, connect to a specific screen, and then you can click this to um, be able to see uh, the actual serial number or the actual uh, ID for this screen. So that's a way to troubleshoot it. If you're having issues where it's not connecting, uh, you can do that. Over on screen settings, there's some stuff in here, uh, mostly to enable the touchscreen and to play around with the, uh, the frame rate for the screen. So we'll hit OK on that. And then we move down to the main dashboard and idle behavior. Main dashboard, this is going to pre-select the dashboard for any car. So any default dashboard that you want, that's where you're gonna put it. Right next to that is the idle behavior. So this is what's going to be displayed when the game is not running. So if you're just on standby and the game is just on, on standby and nothing is running, then that's what's gonna be running on here. So both of these are just drop down menus and these are pulling information from the Dash Studio where all your dashboards live. Moving down to the dashboard playlists, this is something that I highly recommend that you take just a little bit of time to go through it because it's going to make your experience using one of these screens um, a lot more dynamic, a lot more fun, a lot more immersive. There's a, there's a playlist here where I have all the different cars that I like to drive and I have a dashboard assigned to it. So basically any, any time that I want to change cars, uh, this dashboard is going to change to that car's dashboard or at least to the ones that I've assigned. So it's a lot easier that way to be able to experience the different dashboards. There's a lot of information on each dashboard. So as you can see, there's, you know, there's I don't know, 20 cars here maybe, and they each have a, a different dashboard. So if you want to know where to get all these dashboards, let's go over to, let's get the internet open and we'll bring this window in. And then we're going to go over to a website called racedepartment.com. So you're going to want to go ahead and create an account for this website. It's free and it's just a, a quick process. And then the best thing to do is go over to Google and let's say you're looking for the Lamborghini dashboard. We can just do a quick Google search for Lamborghini GT3 dash and usually 
it's one of the very first um, links that'll pop up. You can see here all the different dashboards that it's running and then click download. Up here, you'll see that it downloaded a zip file. We'll bring that in over here so you can see. And then we're going to extract all the files from the zip file. And then we'll have this one file here where we just simply double click it. We click it to open with SimHub. You may not see that. This computer's a brand new build, so I think that was the first time that it's gonna run it. So it may actually just let you get directly to this screen where you can click dashboard import. And then it's gonna say here, import into SimHub library. So go ahead and click that. And then it's gonna automatically put it into the library. I already have this dashboard in here, so I'm gonna X out of it. And then if you wanna take a look at the dashboard, we go over to Dash Studio. And then right here, we've got that Lamborghini dashboard. So I'm gonna put some of these dashboards on the uh, description so that you can download them. And um, I'll definitely give credit to the authors because these people have put in a lot of work. This is quite complex. There's, there's a lot of coding that goes into these things. So it's pretty nice that a lot of people have given this stuff up for free. So I hope that helps you. I hope, you know, if you have one of these wheels, I hope you're getting the most out of it. And I hope that that helps you uh, to get a little bit more out of it. If, if you're, you know, having trouble running these dashboards, I see a lot of people running the, the stock dashboards on SimHub and there's a lot more out there. So yeah, again, hope that helped. It's going to be it for this one. Remember, uh, velocityprosims.com forward slash support request. Uh, that's our platform to um, help out as many sim racers as possible. So if you're new to this or if you're having any sort of trouble with your simulator, um, make sure to reach out to us. Uh, we're always here for you. See you in the next one.